Hello, and welcome to the Hennepin County Family Support Grant Electronic Training Session. Completing a FSG training session will provide Hennepin County residents a program overview, the steps to applying, and provides the roles of both the family and lead agency, Hennepin County. There are three Hennepin County FSG members who manage the program and our contact information is on the FSG application, which includes the coverage line phone number, fax number, email, and our address information. We do prefer email correspondences as this is the quickest way for us to respond. So what is the Family Support Grant or FSG? FSG is a beneficial statewide program that provides financial grants to eligible families with children or young adults under the age of 25 who have been certified disabled and meet all eligibility criteria. It helps families access disability-related services and supports and promotes family health and social well-being. The services and supports prevent out-of-home placement or it can be used to ensure supports for an individual to transition home from a temporary licensed residential facility placement. Help us get the word out to others. At Hennepin County, we take pride in meeting the needs of individuals and families. We know how difficult it can be for a caregiver of a child with a disability and the increased costs that exist. The FSG program does have eligibility requirements and we will review them during this training. As we promote the Family Support Grant in our communities, we feel that more families could benefit, but many do not know about it. Please share what you learned today with family, friends, strangers, and neighbors. If the future FSG recipient does not currently receive services from Hennepin County, please call the front door at 612-348 4111 to discuss if your family member should be scheduled for a Men Choices Assessment or PCA Assessment, and they will discuss other possible services that may be available. FSG is available to children and young adults who are under age 25, living in their biological or adoptive home, or transitioning home from a temporary licensed residential facility if a grant is awarded. The family income must not exceed $125,635 per year, except in cases where extreme hardship is demonstrated and income verification is required, such as check stubs, W-2s, tax returns, and public assistance approval letters. The disability eligibility would need to come from the Social Security Administration, the State Medical Review Team, and children who are working with the Children's Mental Health Case Manager, also known as Rule 79 Case Management Services. Individuals receiving Developmental Disabilities Case Management also known as Rule 185, still need to be certified disabled. Families will need to apply every year to access a grant annually. Hennepin County may approve hardship exceptions to the income limit on a case-by-case -case basis. The lead agency can consider such factors as family size, multiple family members with a disability, substantial existing family debt due to the child's disability, and in crisis situations. If a person applies for FSG and are opened under any personal care assistance or waiver home and community-based service programs, such as brain injury waiver, community alternative care waiver, Community Access for Disability Inclusion Waiver, Developmental Disabilities Waiver, Consumer Support Grant, and Personal Care Assistance, they are not eligible for FSG. However, 
the family is able to close their consumer support grant or personal care assistance in order to gain access to FSG. Then once FSG is approved and closed, they can reapply or reopen the consumer support grant or personal care assistance. The child or young adult under 25 may not receive FSG if they permanently live outside of their family home, such as an intermediate care facility for persons with developmental disabilities, nursing facilities, regional treatment centers, other licensed residential service facilities licensed by the Department of Human Services or the Minnesota Department of Health. Families with more than one eligible child may apply for individual grants for each eligible child. Each child must have their own application and plan. FSG provides cash grants to eligible families for up to $3,113.99 in a calendar year. The grant offsets higher than average expenses incurred when directly related to the child's disabilities. Families must use grant money to purchase services and items that are described within the FSG plan. The items must not be available through other funding sources or other community programs, and they must be reasonable and cost-effective. The grant is distributed based on each individual applicant's circumstance, and the Hennepin County FSG team will determine if payment will be issued in a lump sum, voucher, or direct payment to a vendor. All approved payments are based on what was approved in the plan. Once the lead agency receives the plan, we will confirm that there are available funds to approve the grant. The plan must include items and services that directly relate to the child's disability, which should include an itemized list of all supports, items, and or services that will be paid for with the grant money. The frequency of how supports and services will be provided and the cost of each request. Then we will confirm that all requested supports are within the maximum allowable grant amount. Some really important information regarding the FSG plan process is that we will process one plan per year for each child submitted. We also reach out to families if more information is needed to approve a plan or if a plan will be denied. Revisions to the FSG plan can be made with approval from the Hennepin County FSG team, and families will need to submit a revised plan for us to review and approve the request. Revisions are also accepted if the family did not use the entire $3,113.99 and have found additional approvable items to max out the grant limit. The Hennepin County FSG administrators are the only ones who can approve a FSG plan. Case managers or their supervisor do not have the authority to approve FSG plans. Please contact the FSG team with any questions you may have on eligibility prior to submitting a plan. Prior to submitting the plan, answer all questions and sign and date the application. Individuals who are not receiving services from Hennepin County require a copy of the photo ID for the person if over 18 and the guardian. All applications require proof of eligibility and income. Complete a Hennepin County release of information for each vendor written in the plan. We need the adaptive activities form for each adaptive service listed in the plan and a billing request form must be completed for each vendor in the plan. Finally, ensure that all required documents are submitted collectively. A notice of action is an official letter to the family informing them if services will be denied or terminated. The following reasons this notice will be sent 
are if a request is being denied, if the person is found ineligible for the program, or if the person was found to misuse or fraudulently access FSG funds. The notification will include the participation in date, an explanation of why the participation is ending, and information on the appeal process. Some important information regarding requests that are not approvable through the grant include items that children without a disability would use, such as trampolines, pools, regular school clothes, non-adaptive items, rent, groceries, mortgage payments, utility payments, debt payments, vacations, parent pay staffing, school-related items, and anything not approved in the plan. Some common approvable items that we see on plans are adaptive items such as adaptive school clothes, adaptive bikes, adaptive swimming, any adaptive sports or adaptive community activities, art and music therapy, assistive technology such as iPads and laptops, camps, after-school programs, respite staffing, driver's education, daycare, fences, horse therapy, tutoring with an agency, and small mod home modifications. Please review the FSG Common Expenditure Guide to learn more ideas on how to utilize the grant. Please reach out to the FSG team at the contact information on the next slide if you have any questions pertaining to this training presentation. Thank you for taking the time and watching this presentation.